Hi everybody, my name is Miguel Chen, I'm a bodybuilding journalist from Brazil, and this is Brazilian Beats, your weekly source of Brazilian bodybuilding news here on MD Channel. So let's start, let's kick off the video, but first, wait, make sure to subscribe to MD Channel, like the video. I know YouTube shows you our videos, but your subscription, your like, those numbers help us a lot. So let's start with Eric Wildberger, classic physique competitor. He's going to compete this weekend on Legend Sports Fest. And by the way, MD will be there covering the whole show. So again, subscribe, you don't want to miss any of that. Eric just competed a few days ago at San Antonio Classic Pro. He got second place behind Chris Hunter. He did very well at that show. And now he's trying to get his Olympia qualification at Legend Sports Fest. Another great classic guy that's looking for his Olympia qualification this weekend is this guy here. His name is Caio Bonfim. He got his pro card in 2018. He did the New York Pro at 2019. He got like sixth or seventh place. He has a nice physique, good lines, great back. He's dealing with minor injuries on his leg, so he's trying to get his leg size back. And he's going to Argentina to compete that at a Classic Physique Pro Show. And we have another guy going to Argentina to compete in this very same show. He's a Classic Physique competitor too. His name is Felipe Marins. He did very well at Brazil Expo Super Show in June, but he was way off at the Olympia Brazil Classic Pro Show. He was out of top 10, and now he's trying to get his revenge, his redemption at Argentina Pro Show and who knows maybe he can win this show he's a, a smaller classic physique he has several pounds to reach his weight limit yet so his focus should be getting there the driest the leanest he can as I said he tried to get to his last show a little fuller he tried to give up some conditioning in favor of getting on stage a little fuller, a little bigger. That didn't work for him. And now he's back to his original plan, getting there ripped as you know. Moving on, going to 2 and 2 division. This is Lucas Coelho. You might know him. He was at the Olympia last year. Very nice guy. Very humble guy. He's already qualified for the Olympia. He believes he can be at the top six. His coach is Francisco Jose Spin. Roly Winkler is taking care of his training right now. At this moment, as you can see, Lucas is 222 pounds. He's actually growing into his prep. He's getting bigger and he's trying to improve his back. You can see his glutes are out already starting to show some striations and that's good for him because we know if he wants to get a chance of being at the top six of the Olympia he will need to focus on his condition another two and two guy very important for us probably you are recognizing him even from behind this guy is Eduardo Correa a legend in Brazil a legend in our sports and he's getting back to the stage in November we have only few weeks to go he's already showing he haven't showed his entire physique yet he's only showing a small clip here and there a small picture here and there and here we can see his back he's not even posing we can't even say this is a semi relaxed pose he's not even posing here but we can see he's very lean very dry his back is still a strong point you can see his lats are hanging they are dense they are thick from top to bottom from the front his quads are a little smaller in size but his side and back poses are going to be very 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 dangerous and eduardo just made another update a few hours ago this time from the front selfie in the mirror and he looks ripped I like his abs. He seems to be so tight and we know how hard it is. Correa has been competing for quite some time at this point. And after all those years competing, all those injuries, all those surgeries, he looks great. And we know how challenging it can be for a man that has been competing for that long, like Eduardo, to get to achieve a physique like that. I can't wait to see him on stage again. And let's move. This is Fabricio Moreira, another two and two guy. You might know him. Fabricio posted this update earlier this week, and he's man, he is getting bigger. His weight now is 210 pounds. 
He's doing like two hours of cardio every day, plus the weight training. He's going to compete at November against Eduardo Correa at Muscle Contest Fit Pira Show. In a recent video, he said that this past weekend, he did his first shit meal in a year. I'm not sure how accurate it is that because he competed at Chicago Pro and I don't, I don't believe he just uh, went off the show and haven't anything to eat. But at that show, he was being coached by Matt Jensen and we know Matt Jensen sometimes he can hold the guys and keep them eating clean foods. Now Fabricio Moreira is working with this guy, Fabricio Pacholot, and this past weekend he had one cookie. One cookie, really? That's good for you? Anyway, his goal is to reach a condition somewhat like this one. This show was Portugal Pro 2021. He got third place here. He was ripped. The image just don't do justice. In this show, he was just a little under 200 pounds. And this is his goal for his next show. Let's talk about Open Division now. William Martinez, our beast. He's going to compete at this weekend at the Tsunami Pro in Italy. This clip was posted a few days ago. His back is improving a lot. From the front, he he just he, he doesn't have the best structure. His waist is a little wide, but he's working on that. But he's almost unbeatable from the side poses, and he's working very hard on his back poses. And I don't know, I don't know really, because all those guys are my friends and I want to show them to you but as a journalist I wouldn't like to have my heart talking anyway his back is improving his back shots are improving his hamstrings are starting to get those cuts in this video he was at 275 pounds but his coach told me William drops a lot of water so we can expect him on stage a little lighter a little tighter and much much more drier than he is right now look at his legs his hamstrings they are totally ripped and looking at tsunami pro competitor list we have a only a few names here on the open division. Jamie Christian is not doing this show in Italy. He's doing Legend Sports Fest in Reno, Nevada. And don't forget, MD will be there covering the show. So subscribe to MD channel and you won't lose anything about this show, this Legend Sports Fest. This is going to be a great show. But back here to Tsunami Pro in Italy, Mohamed Eleman is doing the show. He's a great competitor. This, it's, it's going to be hard. Milan Sadek will be there too. Mark Hector is jumping to this show too. And this is, will be his third show in a row, th three weeks in a row competing. Let's see how his body responds to that. Just a quick update here. James Hollins is definitely doing the show. The list was updated a few moments ago. And you can watch the Legend Sports Fest and Tsunami Pro Preview Special with Ron Harris and Giles Thomas here. You should watch it, it's a great show, and the link is in the description below. Let's talk a little about Rafael Brandão. This video here, this back training was posted last Sunday. His weight by the time was 277 pounds, which is big, which is a lot for a Rafael. I, I can't remember seeing him so heavy, so close to the show. Of course, he did his off-season and he was looking to add some size, to add some weight, because he knows he needs more size. He has a great physique, great lines, beautiful shape, but he needs size. But a few days ago in another video, he, he said that, okay, I know I'm not going to be the biggest guy on stage. So I'm working on being the leanest, the driest guy on stage at the Olympia, but I know size is important. So he knows that and he's trying to add more size year by year. I've been following Brandão for a few years now and to me, this year was one of the best for him in terms of gaining size, adding muscle mass. And I think he's doing a good job. This will be his first Olympia, his Olympia debut. He's very young. He has the time on his side. And let's see what happens for Brandon. We are at 10 weeks out almost. And at this time, many guys aren't so ripped yet. So they are not showing themselves. They are not showing their physiques. But I think in three or four weeks, we are going to see many people showing off their physique, showing off the improvements they have made during this year. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I see you next week.